Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my monthly update for Deck of Panning. This project was created by Emily from Emily and Max and this is a really awesome large group collab. It's been going on all year. It actually started on January 20th and it'll be ending on December 20th for this year. Again, hopefully Emily will be bringing it back for next year. I do really love this project. It is super fun. I am currently working on five products and they're based on prompts that I pulled from my deck of cards and um, I'm sure by now you know how the game is played so I'm not going to go into it all over again. I don't have any new goals met for today but I do have a little bit of progress to talk about so that's what we're going to do. Uh, the first product that I've been working on in this project I forgot to mark. Where's my nail polish? Hang on. Okay, take two. The first product that I've been working on was for the Nine of Hearts and the prompt for that was Astrology Sign. And I went with my Victoria's Secret Body Spray in Scorpio and I have really good progress since the last update. I was up here last month and now I am down to here. So if you could see the kind of progress I was making from month to month for the previous uh, eight months of this project. And then where I'm at now, you can see there's quite a leap. There are a couple factors. One, this video is going up a little bit late, so it's been a little bit over a month. Two, um, in my advent calendar project pan, I went from working on three sample perfumes every month down to two, and so I have one less sample perfume. And then for the last several months, I also had a perfume in my Labor of Love It project pan. And since that project ended, I've been using this more consistently. So I'm happy to report that I believe I am well on track to finish this by the end of this project, which is my ultimate goal. And uh, I'm very happy, very, very happy. I'm really happy with this progress. I actually think that it's possible based on the progress I just made that I could have this finished by next month, which would be amazing. Um, we will see. I am using this a ton now though, so maybe I'll get it done. We'll see. Very exciting progress though. The next prompt was for the Six of Clubs and that was a graveyard product. I have no words. This is a deluxe sample of a liquid lipstick from the Balm in Meet Matt Hughes Committed. This has been in a project before, as the prompt graveyard would suggest. And it's in this project now. And I'm happy if I can reach for this once a month. Like that's literally the only use I get out of this. I'm, it's a beautiful shade. I love the shade. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't reach for it. It's getting empty. I should just do it, but I don't do it. Maybe I'll finish it this year. Maybe it won't. I don't know. I would love to get that out of my liquid lipstick inventory by the end of the year. We'll see. If it's still here in January, it is definitely going in my 2023 Project Pan Roast. That's for sure. If it's not already been in there, it might already be in my Project Pan Roast from last year. I don't know. Um, all right. The next prompt was for the Five of Clubs, and the prompt for that was multi-purpose. I ended up going with this um, NYX Ultra Pearl Mania, oh my gosh, I got it right, um, pigment, loose pigment in Nude Pearl. I like this as an eyeshadow. I also like this as a face highlight. And I set the goal of using this 25 times. I haven't been reaching for this a ton. I'm, I'm, I'm very, 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 very close to finishing a highlighter that I've been working on for like three years. That update will be coming up in the, the next update after this one. So I am only at seven uses with this, which might be where I was at last month. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this either, but what I have done is taken some of the product that was in this container and put it in this container. And I tried not to get too much, but I went a little ham, but I have the product moved into this pot for um, applying to my face as a face highlight. I mean, whether it's an eyeshadow or a face highlight, it's just a lot more convenient to reach for it with a brush in this container compared to this container. So that's been a huge relief. I've been enjoying it much more now that I did that. 
and it's a beautiful highlight. It's actually very similar to my um, Laura Mercier highlight in 01. They have a very similar effect. So I love this. I just need to finish my Laura Mercier highlight in 01. And then I could enjoy this a lot. And all the other highlighters I'm supposed to be working on a lot more. But I'm just laser beam focused on that Laura Mercier highlight right now. I got to get that one done. Okay, the next prompt was the Joker. I did get the Joker, and for the Joker, you have to pick a product that is difficult to pan or that you would dread panning. And I went with a red lipstick sample from Urban Decay. Um, I really didn't use this at all this past month. I did have a request, I think, at last month's update to try this as a cream blush. And I wanted to tell that person, I can't remember off the top of my head who it was, but I wanted to tell that person that I did try it as a cream blush. And this does work as a cream blush. However, I have to use the tiniest amount because this is a red lipstick. And so I basically just barely touch my finger in there and then I can blush my entire cheek. So one, it's not gonna help me to get through this too quickly because I have to use such little product. And two, I'm so close to finishing the cream blush. Well, I, I really wanna keep working on the cream blush that I have been working on all year long and I don't really want to stop and work on this because it'll take me a long time to use this as a cream blush tip but but to answer your question this does work as a cream blush and I did try it so there you go that was probably the only use that this one got in the past month and finally the last card I drew was for the king of hearts and the prompt for that was affordable and I went with an elf product I still think elf is like next to AOA is like the most affordable brand out there I don't have anything from AOA Studios. I don't have anything from iKate. Any of those super cheap brands, I don't have anything from. I was already on my low buy before I discovered those websites, but this is probably the cheapest brand I own. And I chose this e.l.f. smudge pot in brownie points. And I want to use this 20 times. I am up to two uses. I did use this twice in the past month. Um, I did add some Duraline to make it go on a little bit more smoothly. This is great for a super smoky fall eye. This is not a light brown. This is a deep brown. It, it's actually deeper on my eyes than it looks in this pan. It looks like a pretty like coppery penny shade in this pan, but it's actually darker than that on my eyes. I still like it very much, but um, yeah, I need to use this 18 more times before it rolls out of this project and I've been enjoying it a lot. It's a really nice eye base. I like it a lot. So that is it for this update. I'm going to keep working on these same six products. I think it's possible I might have finished that body spray by next month. That is That would be crazy because I thought it would take me till the very end of this project and maybe even then I wouldn't do it. But if I could finish off that uh, body spray before the end of the year, that would be awesome even by next month. Oh my gosh, you guys. The end of the year is coming. I The time is flying by, but I'm very happy with the progress I've made in these products, even though I didn't finish anything or meet any goals. But that is going to be it for this update. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.